Australians have a reputation worldwide of being early adopters of technology. These days, that's mostly about electronic gadgets, but the root of early adoption goes back much further than just wanting the latest cell phone. With such vast distances to cover, the motor car may well have been made with Australia in mind. Our love of sport means it was just a small step from owning a car to wanting to race it. So our car racing routes go back to the earliest days of motorsport. Melbourne Company Historic and Vintage Restorations is tackling the mammoth job of bringing one of the great racing cars of our past back to its former glory. This is a very famous uh, and significant car in Australian uh, motor motoring history. It's a 1929 Alfa Romeo 1750 SS that was imported into Australia new. Um, it, it, we're actually restoring the car um, using all the original components that have been gathered together, which is a bit of a, f a long story in itself, but uh, quite a, 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 uh, an interesting history the car's had. For instance, a number of things. Um, it, it was imported by uh, Mrs Jones, so it, she was one of the foremost female racing car drivers in Australia in that, in that period. It held the Australian land speed record and also it's just come to light that it was the first um, winner of a quarter mile um, sprint, or as we know them, drag race in the world, which happened on, uh, at, at Bondi in New South Wales in 1931 and this car won it. So it held the, the Australian land speed record and, and was the fastest car over a quarter mile um, recorded um, by the, um, the, the uh, Drag Race Association. So quite very significant car. If it had been a canvas from one of the Heidelberg School of Painters, it would have been declared a national treasure and preserved appropriately. But cars have a different life. It, it was raced extensively in, in the 30s. Um, unfortunately, it had several very bad accidents. One of them, the car was basically uh, totally destroyed. Um, Mrs. Jones, fortunately, was, was uh, well healed, so she had the car rebuilt. And that was in 1931. So we're, we're putting it back together uh, in its guise in 1931. In the late 1930s, and in the years after the Second World War, this Alpha led a hard life. To try to keep it competitive, its owners of the time replaced the Alpha power plant with a V8 engine and made other changes to the chassis and body. But luckily, almost all of the original parts were kept. The next lucky stroke came with the dedication of one enthusiast more than 50 years ago. Fortunately, because it was such a well-known car, that um, in the late 50s, early 60s, an, an enthusiast started collecting all the bits back. And uh, over a period of time, he collected all the parts. Um, and we know they're all the original parts because they're all numbered. The front axle, the gearbox, the engine, the chassis, rear end, are all numbered in the steering box that fit this particular car. Um, the Alpha factory only made 50 of them. The challenge now is for the HVR team to work out this automotive jigsaw, reusing absolutely everything that's possible from the original. They've had some luck, but it's still a daunting task. Yeah, that's, the, that's the original factory drawing for the car, so we're using that to ensure that the car's going back together correctly. In this, the centenary year of Alfa Romeo, these great motor cars are commanding more attention and being more admired than at any time in recent history. The Jones Alfa, as it's known, will get the attention and respect it deserves as an irreplaceable piece of Australia's automotive history. So they're a very rare and also a very sought after car now because there are not many of them that survived the exercise. Uh, and not many like this car that's got a continuous history from when it was new up until we see it sitting here now.